my name is Jim Easton, and uh, I've known Dave since kindergarten. And uh, the story of how we met, I don't know, if Dave, if you know this, <laughs> but uh, I was kind of a, a small kid, smaller than today. You know? And my dad, for fear of me getting hurt, said, find the biggest guy in class, and become friends with him. <laughs> that is a true story. And, uh, I walked in that class, I looked around, there's this kid, and, and yeah, it's been a long time. So, uh, we have a lot of history together, uh, playing Madden football on your Sega, and uh, Dave learned how to ride a bike at my house, because my bike was small enough to where if he started wobbling, he put his legs down. And, uh, but there are a few things I'm gonna miss about Dave being single, I gotta, I gotta admit. <laughs> um, for example, uh, when, when Dave scored some Who tickets, 10th row, at the Gorge, uh, he was single, which meant I was his date. <laughs> Robert Daltrey, that was such a good time. Pete Townsend smashed a guitar, it was great. Uh, I don't know if you know this, but Dave and I, we do uh, baseball road trips. And uh, we're, we're down, we have 14 stadiums down with a lot to go. And um, I'm now realizing that uh, these trips are going to look a little different with our wives. Um, no more sleep in the back of a van, eating peanut butter and jelly sandwiches, crashing at family members' homes. Um, won't be bad or worse, uh, just different. <laughs> I'll miss those times together. what Aaron sees in Dave, uh, to be completely honest, is one of the most thoughtful guys I know, and from personal experience, uh, being around him, um, people around him just want to be a better person because of that. Uh, but I also see the influence that Aaron has had on Dave, uh, like his newfound interest in health. Um, <laughs> I, I don't know this, uh, I don't know if you know this, but he actually gave up chips for how long? <laughs> Three months. Um, I was there when he almost made a mistake. We were at a movie and I had nachos, and I wasn't thinking. Offered him nachos, he put them in his mouth. He was like, oh, oh, I was like, spit it out, spit it out. You're okay, you didn't swallow any of it. Did not inhale. Okay, well, that's it. Sorry. <laughs> and um, I, I can't even remember the last time you signed up for a team triathlon. You swam over a mile for her. I, you're making me look bad in front of my wife. <laughs> uh, Aaron, I, I, I've liked you from the start. I don't know if I've ever told you that. Uh, when we first started hanging out with a group of friends, you had me in stitches, and this wedding is a testament to your sense of humor, uh, which blesses my heart, because when I, when I see your humor, it shows me your, your light, friendly heart, and I think that compliments Dave really well. So thank you for that. And. Um, in the 20 plus years I've known Dave, I, I have never seen him happier, and that, that is the truth. Um, when uh, I had a hard time finishing this, this speech, and um, I, don't, I, I work at a church with middle school students, and uh, I was talking to my wife, and she's very clever, and I actually just flew in from uh, summer camp this morning, and so I've been with middle school students all week. And, <laughs> great idea. She said, why don't you ask the middle school students for marriage advice? I'm like, I cannot pass this up. So here's a few gems. Oh, you, just wait. Just wait. This is good. It's good stuff. I'll give you this later so you can keep it. Write little notes. Don't get mad. A three-second kiss every day. That's a good one. Don't play board games when you're angry. Never insult any of her clients.